NATO bolsters ranks to back Ukraine in chemical attack. NATO leaders are expected to agree to increase NATO troops in Eastern Europe to discourage Russian invasions and to deliver weapons to Ukraine to assist it protect against chemical and biological attacks. An announcement by NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg came ahead of a series of Brussels meetings concentrating on the Ukraine conflict. Stoltenberg said the soldiers would stay as needed. According to military officials, NATO now commands roughly 40,000 soldiers from various countries, almost tenfold more than a few months ago. Russia's activities have become the new normal for our security, he told reporters. Part of the new reality is Russian President Vladimir Putin's veiled threats of deploying nuclear weapons and efforts at what NATO members call false flag operations to justify using chemical weapons in Ukraine. Stoltenberg believes NATO leaders would agree to deliver further aid to Ukraine, including weaponry to help it protect itself against CBRN and nuclear threats. President Joe Biden will attend the NATO summit as well as the EU and G7 meetings. In addition to violating international law, the deployment of chemical weapons would have far-reaching ramifications, Stoltenberg added. He refused to specify whether such a strike would include NATO involvement. NATO as an organization does not arm Ukraine to safeguard its members against Russian aggression. The 30-nation alliance says it will not send soldiers or planes to Ukraine to defend people or enforce any no-fly zones. But individual or group member nations provide weapons and other help. The world's largest security agency wants to avert a confrontation with nuclear-armed Russia. But, he said, any deployment of chemical or biological weapons may have severe implications for NATO ally countries. The leaders will also call on China, which the West accuses of giving moral, if not military, backing to Putin, to help stop the conflict at their three-hour conference on Thursday.